Hello world! Welcome to the first video of my new channel, Nerd Nachos. This one's gonna be part intro video, part time-lapse drawing, and all kinds of exciting. So let's get started. Oh, it's not some geeky tacos or dorky queso blanco. It's Nerd Nachos! My name is Justin Barron. I am a professional performer, an amateur artist, and a non-stop nerd. You'll get to know me more throughout these videos, so I'm not going to talk too much about myself here. Instead, I'll just talk about the channel. Nerd Nachos is a place for anything and everything that could be deemed nerdy. Just like a real plate of nachos, there's room for everything. The more toppings, the better. At least in my opinion. So anyway, I'll be posting all kinds of videos on this channel, from um, RPG advice, movie reviews, opinion pieces, lots of time-lapse drawings. Uh, if you have an idea of something that you want to see from me on this channel, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear from all of you. So today, we're going to be kind of working through my process on the cover art for this channel. I'll briefly discuss my process, along with any creative decisions that I made throughout it. So without further ado, let's get drawing. So we start with a rough sketch, just a very loose, basic way to get an idea of the shape of the overall piece, really. Now, I had done a few thumbnail sketches before this, and I knew I wanted this, like, mountain of nachos with just some random nerdy items throughout. So we have this Middle Earth type like, longsword, we got this blast coming out of the side, real sci-fi-like. We got a zombie arm kind of hanging off, and then we got some meteorite dice just falling through the sky. Moving on to the lettering, this is something that's pretty new for me. I've never really tried to letter anything, any of my own work before, really. So I do want to keep getting better at it, and I need to practice a lot. Um, I recently bought some tools that actually helped me out with this. Um, it's, it's a great set of different grids and lettering blocks, uh, ianbarnard.net. Uh, I'll be sure to add the link below, but I highly recommend it. I, I went with a bit of a Star Wars type grid here. I didn't really get the angles of the letters just right, but I'm honestly still pretty happy with how it turned out in the end. Now I move into more of a refined sketch. Here I'm just going to start moving through the different pieces from the rough and just start giving everything actual definition, just clear lines, really trying to make sure I know exactly what I want from the piece. You'll notice I'm using different colored pencils on different areas. Uh, this is something that just helps me see the overall different parts of the piece. It also starts letting me get an idea of where I want to take the colors later on, so it's just something that I've started to do in my work. I decided to shrink down the size of the chips just to make the scale of the mountain seem much larger. The effect actually turned out as I'd hoped, um, so I'm pretty happy there. Uh, the one thing I wasn't happy with was this zombie arm. Okay. I just needed to pause the video real quick and uh, have a little heart to heart. I'm still pretty young in my artistic journey here and I still have a lot to learn. I'm looking forward to doing it very much uh, and growing and whatnot. But at this point in my process, hands are just not great. Uh, fingers, just the, the bane of my existence. Wrists are just a no-go at this point, so I need to improve on that, and I, um, I do recognize that. But right now, just not feeling it. Hands can go poop a, poop a rock. So as I tried to work on the zombie arm, I decided to do what all great artists do. I erased it and drew a cute little robot instead. I actually like this better for the piece anyway. Uh, bloody zombie arm hanging off the edge kind of kills the delicious nachos vibe. So I added some cheese dripping off the side as well, just for good measure. All right, so now we move on to the legitimate lines work here. I, I switched my brush from a pencil to an ink pen, and basically I'm just gonna go over all the refined pencils that I just did. I go back and forth a lot on every piece that I do, trying to decide if I want it to be inked or if I just leave it as the pencils. Because I, I really do like that raw sketch feel of just having like the pencils and, and maybe just some charcoal. A big factor in this decision to ink this one was the fact that I, I knew I'd be giving it a real digital look and real digital coloring. And to me, that means it needs to be inked with crisp, bold lines. Line weight is a big factor in inking. 
I've been trying to focus a lot on that lately with the, the heavier lines being in the foreground of the piece. Although it's tedious, I actually find that I rather enjoy inking quite a lot. I, it's pretty nice. All right, here we move into the flats. I like to start by just covering the whole thing in one color. Um, so here I'm using kind of like a tan. Uh, and then just adding layers of color to individual pieces from there. The idea with flats is just to make sure that everything is colored. So you're covering every piece of your work. Now one of the many perks with digital coloring is having the ability to change colors super easily. So if I don't like this specific shade of green, for instance, I can just later go and, and, and change that on that layer in like two seconds. I've added the cheese now. I think this was probably the trickiest part of this one for me, trying to figure out just how much of the chip should be covered. It took a lot of trial and error. That mixed with the figuring out of the, the shape of the gooey cheese, it, it all just it took a while for me. I'm honestly, I'm happy with the end results. Just layers and layers of cheesy goodness. Okay, now I'm actually hungry for nachos. Anyway, getting into shading, there isn't too much to see here. I, I have a tendency to go too heavy on the shadows without bringing enough back into the light. I tried to avoid that issue with this one and just to keep everything bright and poppy. Okay, the one thing I did want to keep though from the refined sketch was just the zigzag shading on the letters. It, it felt very like high school notebook kind of doodle to me, which just kept me in the, the nerd theme. So I really wanted to keep that. With the lighting, I kept the key light very basic, just out front, a white basic light out in space. Um, there are two secondary lights. We got the one coming off of the green blast over on the right, and then we have the purple kind of uh, magical dice on the left. So there's just hints of those kind of reflecting off of the different parts of the piece. I liked all these colors kind of interacting in this way, almost like a Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon spectrum. That's really when I decided to lean into the space theme here. I decided to go back over the blast lines with this luminescent pin and make everything kind of glow. I did the same thing with the red sparks coming off the little robot. And then I added the, the nebula backdrop just to kind of bring it all home. And there we have it, our Nerd Nachos logo. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I do have one final request from you. I am not gonna have too much fun if I'm just sitting up here talking to myself. So I would love to hear from you. Give me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know any questions you might have, any critiques you might have. Constructive criticism is preferable, but I'll take suggestions nonetheless. Let me know when you disagree with me. If you disagree with the fact that I think Iron Man 2 is an underrated movie, let's talk about it. It is though, it is. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like, share it with some friends, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything else I do in the future. Speaking of which, I think the next thing I'll do is a movie review, uh, bite-sized, but I just recently watched Sonic the Hedgehog, and I have some thoughts. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss it. If you have any ideas for other movies I could review in the future, just go ahead and get them in the comments, and I'll uh, check them out. Until next time, be kind, stay safe, and spread some love. And don't forget, stay cheesy.